Hey guys, it's Kristen. So in today's video, I want to show you different ways that you can make a face mask with things just in your house. But the difference with my video is that I'm going to show you the do's and the don'ts, the things they do not tell you in the videos. For example, with the face mask where you use a handkerchief and hair ties, it's not that simple. There are things you need to know to be able to do this successfully. So stay tuned and I will show you how to do this the right way and what to avoid. This first one is gonna be with a bandana and then two hair ties. We're gonna start by unfolding this and you wanna leave it folded in half. So let me get this flipped over. You can see right now it's already folded in half. Then what I'm gonna do is fold it into thirds. So I'm gonna go once over like that and then we'll just go over once more like this, okay? Now we're gonna put the hair ties on the end. So I'm gonna just wrap this around the end like that. There we go. And you do want them to be about, let me show you how far. So you definitely want the center to be a lot larger than the ends. So you can kind of see how far it is from the end, okay? Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this over so that the hair ties on the outside like that, okay? Then this one's gonna go in as well. And you can see it is overlapping like this. This end does not need to go all the way there or you won't have enough room. So then you pull this one like that. Now what we're gonna do is take this, and you should have like four layers or six layers. You're gonna do the one where it's like looped, right? So this one's open, we don't want that. You want the next one. And we're gonna stuff this inside there. All right, so now in the other videos, they'll say that you're good to go and you can put this on. But there are some things you need to know because this may not work. Here I've got my mask that we just made, okay, with the hair ties. So I'm gonna hook this on one ear, and you can already see it's not really going on my ear. So let's just put it on, okay? Now look what it's doing to my ear. Do you see this? This one's not that bad. This one, it's, it's breaking my ear. It hurts so bad. So yes, in theory, <laughs> this is a good idea, and it would work, but oh my God, like this hair tie is gonna rip my ear off. So what you need to do before you make this is you need to take your hair tie, so I have this thicker one, and you need to stretch it, okay? You're gonna go like this for a little while. Not so hard that you rip it, but they come and they're extremely tight. And you know how if you're a girl, over time, the hair ties start getting really big. And that's what we want for this. This needs to be stretched out. The hair tie is too tight, and that's why it's like ripping my ear off. Better yet, instead of using the thicker ones, try to use these thinner ones. They stretch further. So I did the same mask, but I used the much smaller hair ties. So let me show you this now. So it fits much better, hopefully you can hear me. It is still pulling my ears, but not as much. It fits way more comfortably. What I think works the best though, is taking just a piece of elastic. Um, this is actually a bra strap. I had an old bra, so I just cut the bra strap off. And now I can make this whatever size I want and it can sit comfortably around my ear. And all you have to do is just tie this in a knot. And the knot can sit on the inside of the mask and you'll never see it. So this is gonna be a lot better having something larger than this tiny little hair tie. The main difference when you're just using elastic is that the knots need to be on the inside. So that's the only thing you have to really make sure of is that the knots are inside your bandana. All right, so now I have the face mask that has just the elastic on it, not a hair tie. And we're gonna put this on. It's much looser. It's not pulling my ears at all. Now this one is a little bit loose, so I would probably need to tighten these slightly, but this is a better option because it sits comfortably on your ears and isn't pulling your ears forward. So that's one thing they don't tell you, I feel like in a lot of these videos that I wanted to make sure you guys know. Stretch the elastic or use something other than hair ties. You don't need to have a bandana, you just need material. This is an old sheet that we had ripped up and this is my son's t-shirt that he does not fit into anymore. For the t-shirt, I just cut up along the seam. I went around all the way over until I got to this corner. And now it just kind of opens up to a much larger piece of material. So I really only need half of this shirt, so I'm gonna just cut it uh, along this other side. I'm gonna cut the arms off, and now I'm gonna cut along the top just to get rid of this seam. So you're pretty much just left with a piece of material like this. And now we're gonna do the same thing we did with the handkerchief. So I'm gonna go ahead and fold this into thirds. 
So I'm gonna put the hair ties along the ends and then I'm gonna fold it in just like I did with the bandana. So here my daughter has this one on with the t-shirt and you can see it's pretty large so depending on how much material you use will depend on how big the mask is but you can pretty much make these out of anything. The other thing that a lot of the videos don't tell you is the thicker you make this, the harder it's gonna be to breathe. So you can see this has quite a bit of layers. It's pretty thick for being a t-shirt. Um, so this becomes very difficult to breathe when you have this much stuff on your face. So also keep that in mind as well. The sheet is a good option because it is much thinner than a t-shirt. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope that was helpful. I hope you're staying safe. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit this bell so you're alerted when I upload a video. And I'll talk to you later.